EAFC Ultimate Team Deep Dive. Let's just see how much info EA wants to give us today because we've heard a lot about this already. We know a lot about it. Oh, here we go. Oh, the countdown. Wait, what does this say? What does it say? Electronic Arts was founded in 1980. 82. The earliest version of football can be traced back 3,000 years. What are statistics? The maximum number of players on a football team is 11. What? The original game was released in 1993. Did they just really tell us how many players pay on a, play on a pitch? Welcome back to our EA Sports FC 24 Deep Dive Series. I'm Lee Ravel, and I am here with two experts, Go on, Leah. and Richard, from the development team to chat through what might be the biggest year in Ultimate Team. Okay. How are we doing, guys? Hey, Leah. Hello. There's so many new things we have to talk about. Okay, today. that's the, the pack animation. Players Wait, there was two cards in the pack. New Ultimate Team Evolutions, the inclusion of women's football, and play styles. We Let's already know about those. Straight into it. First up, we have to talk about Ultimate Team Evolutions. Are you telling me that I can finally improve players from my club? That's right. We've never had anything quite like this in Ultimate Team. There's so much to love about what this unlocks for people's passions, for players, regardless of where they're at in their development. Richard, you want to explain how this works? Okay. Yeah, so in Ultimate Team Evolutions, you're going to be able to pick your favorite players and upgrade them throughout the year. I don't know if those Pretty ratings are final, though. All you have to do is pick your favorite players, complete objectives. So that with Mukoko them, goal turned into an evolutions card. Example, Do you see that? You complete 20 passes with them, get two assists, and that completes level one and earns you plus 10 short passing and also upgrades their weak foot. You'll also be able to level up the player's item Vincent so that your Company club 88? stand out when you load into a match. Okay. Moving on to one of my favorite things that I'm so excited to talk about. Okay. Women's football is coming to Ultimate It's not any player. I think it's specific it. players. No, team Brazilian. The is obviously to assemble your favorite footballers from around Boom. the world into an Ultimate 11. This is the biggest addition of top-tier players we've ever introduced into the game at one time. It's called Ultimate Team. If you're not able to play with your favorite players, it's not really your Ultimate Team. So this year, with the introduction of more leagues and with evolutions especially, you're going to be able to make your ultimate team and it's not going to There's look like There's that Nike kit. Pieces. Love it. So, new players, some new leagues. With the introduction of women's football, how will chemistry work putting all of these new players into my ultimate team? Ooh, chem. Well, chemistry will remain the same. For example, Sam Kerr will link to WSL players, her fellow Australians, and is going to link up with Chelsea Chat, I don't players. know about these. Oh, so see the Sam bottom? Kerr's player piece, item ratings are not finalized, and, and they're subject to change. Love that. And what about so, Vinny 88, though. Icons? Can you tell the people if we expect any new ones? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, You're Tevez, be able to reach back Schneider. Into the history books to play with some of the greatest players from the past. All right, we knew but these. We knew these. We know that the community has been wanting a change we knew these, when it comes to icon chemistry. So when you have an icon, we knew this team, as well. They're gonna apply. A plus wow, look at that icon car design, bro. In your squad. So that just opens up more squad building. That's the first time we've seen the icon car design. The team. In the we'll FC24. Oh, everyone else? pack animation. Yes, indeed. Every player in Ultimate Team will share the same packs, the same pitch, and will be included in promos there you go. throughout the year. Speaking of packs, something I'm really excited about. This year we have new sets, we have new animations, including my personal favorite, a two player walkout. So if you pack two really great players, they're both gonna walk out at the same time. Hey, okay. Oh, so that part at the beginning was that Level. part of that. All right. Well, I'm starting to put things together. Interesting. Five new leagues. That's kind of cool. Football plus. That's kind of cool. And icons, and then players that I decide to improve via Ultimate Team Evolutions. All right. Every squad is going to be so versatile, so different. I love that. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Each of Bro, these the dynamics look so small. Look at those, look those dynamic images. It looks so small, man. Feel personal and on the unique. card. So this is a great year for you to make your ultimate team truly yours. I have to mention this new item design because we haven't talked about it yet. Okay. And that's something that stood out to me right away. It's a big change, you're right. Redesigning the items was a chance to bring your favorite footballers into focus and helps you understand them at a glance. All right. The so new that is the pack animation. For bigger right. images, more key information See, than ever like before. Vinny's face looks like off center. for chemistry and even animated backgrounds. And you I don't know. New information but then, as well. but then there it does. So there's I, I don't know, man. Plus that you see on I don't the left know. side of the item. These so Vinny has the you know quick step play style special plus. On the pitch and how to get the most out of them in the game. Yes, yes. I was actually watching Accelerate significantly the faster. the other day and those sound amazing. Okay. Our play style is a big part of the gameplay dynamic in Ultimate Team. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. A feature that takes absolutely cooked. Beyond overall ratings, play or styles and play styles plus that skill are how move, bro. we're bringing those signature <laughs> abilities to life. 
so that players are more unique and play more like their. I real think you can selves. turn off that little yeah, badge above the player in game, though. I think you can turn that off. For. These if you don't want to see it, like see right there. Unique to world class athletes are reserved only for the best players. Pretty sure you can turn You'll it off so that it does. If you don't want to see it. Have them. Yeah, they're a great way to understand and get the best out of the players on the okay. pitch, and a great way to know how to build a squad that has complementary skills and strengths. I love it. Let's talk a little bit about objectives. Objectives. Yeah. Well, we've been working hard to give you more focus the claim and direction button? when you load up Ultimate Team. With the new objectives menu, it's easier to understand what to play for and get back to the action. There's also new navigation okay, that looks really and a new different. quick switcher to cycle between modes, so you can go straight from your squad to rivals. Oh, that's cool. Or from SBC. Oh, chat! Look at the menus. Market. And there's market thing. confirmed. Claim all. Hey. You'll finally be able to gather all your hey. rewards from one there group together at once. Yes, yes. I know how much there the community is. has been asking for that one, myself included. <laughs> Are there any other changes that we can tell them about? Well, I mean, we've also made a little tweak to how players change position. Okay, Anyone we knew that. Anyone with a secondary yep. position will automatically switch to I that see this new though. position. How you do so it? So you'll no longer need to get position modifiers and keep toggling no your way. players back and forth. In you just put roles. them in the spot and they and change. This change to it? will make SPCs a lot more seamless, and you'll finally be able to use a player's secondary position in draft and get them some chemistry. Chat, you don't even have to. Oh, well, you guys, thank you. You don't even have so, to do anything. So, so it just automatically changes if they have it. With the both of you, it feels honestly. All right, like that's sick. Game mode, ultimate team that's evolution, sick, bro. Women's football. That's a style. W. Welcome to the club. All right, chat. There it is. All right, do we have do we have pitch notes yet? I want to check right away for pitch notes because that's gonna be the easiest way to keep looking through this stuff. Boom! Ultimate team deep dive, pitch notes, baby. We're here. This was it. Yeah, that's it. What did we say earlier, bro? What did we say earlier? We knew that it might not be the craziest of deep dives, right? We knew that because a lot of the stuff we had already talked about, but I feel like there are a number of things in here that we can, that I noticed that we can talk about and learn. So the first thing they showed about that, um, the Mukoko, did you notice that Mukoko started as a gold card? Striker upgrade. Select a player that meets the following requirements. Shooting max 78. Pace max 81, overall max 78, and a weak foot maximum four star. So it's not every player that you can fit into that spot, but you can choose a lot of different players to put in there. Because then you can see here that it showed like them going to the club and picking between eligible players. You see that? You could search for eligible players. So you're searching for eligible players. And then boom, Emerson Royale and Mukoko both could have been put into that uh evolution so they chose mukoko which has kind of been their choice for all this and then it gives you uh challenges which seem decently easy actually to get them upgraded so that kind of answers a few questions based off of that the pack animation being able to have two cards at the same time like the sun and the holland if you were so lucky to pack that that's kind of cool okay here's what i don't understand why does Vinny's card look like this when his face is like all the way to the left Everything seems shifted over to the left. But then look in the pack animation, bro. It doesn't look like it's slanted. See see what I mean? It's missing the attribute things. Based off of the full car design and like the mini car design, they look different. Yeah, it's, it's not final. You're right. It's it's not final. I'm, I'm diving into the details here. Uh, I wanted to see a few of these packs. Weekly objectives. Like the menus look very different, obviously. So like in objectives, you can R1, L1 to the different types. But then... If you want to go somewhere else, you hit L2. Yeah, new navigation. So you hit L2 and you go straight from your squad. Boom, right into rivals or champs. SBCs look different. The market looks different too. Transfer market, transfer list, transfer targets. That looks really quick and snappy. I do like that. Also, Wara account up here. 8,000 FIFA points and 910k. Also, this whole, this new thing here, like... We saw it multiple times inside of this uh, trailer. This logo. That must be some sort of new logo, bro. I don't know. Let's let's dig into these because there's probably some better information in here. Oh, not every player is eligible for every evolution. You'll have to check the requirements to know what players you're allowed to use. This might be evolve any silver player or evolve a left back with three-star skill moves. So you have some freedom, but it's still inside of a box. Throughout the season, our goal is to keep evolutions feeling fresh and updated. We'll be adding more ways to evolve your squad throughout the season. So like you start with this car design, then you upgrade to this to this to this that's a sick card design right there can i add an evolutions player to the transfer market no once a player has been confirmed in an evolution it becomes untradeable you can have as many evolution players in your squad as you want but you can only activate one to upgrade at a time can i swap back and forth between players i want to upgrade you can swap back and forth freely 
Oh, that's sick. In progress, Evolutions players cannot be submitted into SBCs. However, once the player item is fully upgraded, it can be. And you can enroll the same player in multiple Evolutions. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of fine print with Evolutions. I'm sure that's something we're going to have to figure out throughout the year. But they're making a big deal out of it, man. Uh, women in Ultimate Team uh, talks about chemistry on the pitch. We already knew that, though. Obviously, this is the best example. Lauren and Reese James, since they both play for Chelsea, they get that. They get a link because they are both for Chelsea, even though they're technically in different leagues. Yo, what is this? Chad, look at that. That is sick. European Knights objective for an 89 rated Phil Foden. That's the same dynamic image that is on UCL card 89 from this year, isn't it? <laughs> Thought that looked familiar. Literally, the only thing in here about objectives is the claim all button and that they, uh, they're they going to make it look pretty. Some objective groups will now have themed backgrounds, so the energy and personality of our campaigns can really shine through. What are graphics from EA? All right, community improvements. This is big. Item design. Okay, we've known about that. That's how the cards look. The playstyle pluses show over here. Chemistry styles, and this is the first owner triangle. Animated backgrounds. So the Nike card designs. That's, that's actually sick. Graphic design is EA's passion. <laughs> like expanding on embellishments and having the art break out of the shells. I'm guessing that's what this means, like the Nike swoosh going outside the card. Or maybe it means like the player dynamic images going outside the card. Position modifier removal and club search improvements. That might be the biggest thing in here, man. This Gakpo is center forward. And they put Gakpo into the striker spot and since that's one of his alternate positions he just instantly changes to it you don't even have to go into the card and like change the position i thought that's what we were gonna have to do oh you just you just set it in the spot bro and they said that also works in draft which is really nice wait a second wait a second speaking of sbcs and searching your club we hear you we've made sure to hide those loan players when you're squad building in sbcs we were talking about that Five minutes before this came out, loans will no longer show up when you're building SBCs. Hey, yo. In addition, we're changing the way position searches work. The default position search will now include both primary and alternative positions, making squad building easier. More search functionality, W. So like if you search for strikers, it would also pull up that Gakpo who has a base position of center forward. Cool. Icon changes. Okay, we knew about this. Yeah, we knew about the icon chemistry change, right? See, so watch over here. When they put Zidane in, Zidane goes in at cam. Right now, there's only one Premier League chemistry point. Zidane contributes another one and also to the other leagues. And boom, that's huge. We knew that though. From launch, icons will have a single base version to be aligned with the heroes and regular player items. We will capture the eras and stories of these legendary players by continuing to release additional campaign versions. Wow. You know what that means? That means there's going to be less icons this year. I would agree. That means we're going to see more heroes and icons built into promo teams. Icons in every other promo? Probably. Oh, pick raid. Nick, thank you for the host, man. We were just talking about how icons are only going to have one base version. And I think that's an L. Wait, so that means if you don't get a new version... Oh, no. Let's say you're a bit... Just like Thierry Henry this year. Thierry Henry, it took him like... Almost all year to get a special card, bro. After he got his prime card, this was the best version in the game until the shapeshifters came out, but the game was practically over. So people that wanted to use Henri were stuck with this version since December or whenever the primes came out. What if Thierry Henri in FC24 doesn't get a new icon card until like June again, man? Then you're stuck with his base. That might be one of the biggest changes right there though for like especially campaigns and for promo cards. So in the FC24 reveal, remember the Zidane that we saw? The Zidane that's in here? That is Zidane's prime image from FIFA 23 and older FIFAs. That's the image on his prime card, but it's the rating of his middle version, 94. Lean Design here is tweeting, 90 Hullet, 90 Hullet and EAFC, the way they showed it, had prime Hullet's face, but with different stats. So again, the ratings are probably subject to change, but... If you were EA, think about it. Wouldn't you want to use the prime images? You would want to use the images on the cards in game that were associated as primes before. People would think, oh, that's the prime Zidane. Now, again, the stats are probably not 100% accurate or they're not finalized yet. But I would not be surprised if the base versions that we see from inside here, right? Icons will launch with a single base version. I wouldn't be surprised if they use the prime images like images because like subconsciously in our minds for those of us that have played FIFA for a long time when we see this pick of Zidane we know oh that's the prime and maybe they put that image on this card rating 
for the start of FC24. Oh, did you pack a new cool kit or TIFO? You can now manually equip customization items directly from the new item screen. Did you open a pack with a lot of untradeable duplicate player items? You can now swap them in bulk with their tradable versions in your club. That sounds like if you're going into your unassigned, like imagine these were all unassigned, there's gonna be a button on the bottom that would say swap duplicates from club that's a big w yeah that's instead of going one by one to see who's tradable and untradable that you already have as a untradable or a duplicate yeah that's that's cool uh last but not least you can now find your favorite lengthy players easier than ever with the introduction of acceleration types in the player bio oh thanks yeah that's nice this might be one of the biggest w's look how quick it is to like this guy's in spcs right now and i think you hit l2 on your controller and then you can scroll through objectives, evolutions, SBCs, transfer, stadium, and store. It's going to be a little bit to get used to, but a lot of things to save time so we can spend more time playing. I mean, think about it from EA standpoint too. You want people to be able to get where they want to go and get through a lot of those menu inconveniences faster, right? So that you can spend more time in the game, in the SBCs, and objectives, in the store. Oh! Squad battles match length. The feedback from the community regarding squad battles has then been that matches have been too long. We're happy to announce that in EA Sports FC, we are reducing the length of each half from six minutes to four so you can make the most of each time you pick up the controller. Boom! Every squad battles game, four minute halves. You know what they're going to do though, chat? They made squad battles four minutes. They're going to make you play more games instead of, oh yeah, play five games of squad battles. Well, now you're going to have to play seven or eight instead. It's going to be the same amount. You know what I'm saying? That's literally like three things that we mentioned before the stream that I didn't expect them to change that they did. Chat, I feel like there weren't a lot of changes to gameplay though. Like a lot of people were asking about changes to rivals, changes to foot champs maybe there's more info coming on that but the only change we got was oh hey squad battles is going to be four minute halves which is a w but it's a lot of quality of life improvements chat and not a lot of like game breaking new like features in terms of gameplay modes yeah zero zero gameplay changes it sounds like we're still going to have champs rivals squad battles moments and draft obviously evolutions is a gameplay change but i feel like this fixed a lot of the annoying things about the FIFA 23 menus. Like we've said multiple times, it's a quality of life improvement update. It's not like game breaking new features. It didn't talk about the market at all. Uh, it didn't talk about anything along those lines either, dude. I didn't see anything in there that's, that mentioned a fully cross platform market, but maybe I missed it. Confirmed in their deep dive today, huge news. Maybe I missed it, bro. I don't know where that was at, but cross market was already a thing, just not PC. Well, what these guys are saying is, is that it's fully cross platform, including PC. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm a little skeptical on that all one market because i i'm missing the point where they saw it but i would love i would love to know where they saw it man anyways that is uh that's the news i mean honestly as always if you want to check out all the information it's in the deep dive here that's the best place to go and look for it we'll leave a link uh in the stream we'll leave a link uh on the youtube vids to go and check that out